Paul, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure that the court understands, yeah, that at the age of 13, you have an obligation to ask the minor named, do you think your father is a credible threat? And if they did, yes, they can motion the court for their own protection order. <laughs> now, a lot of parents are asking themselves, well, why would a minor at 13 years of age, yes, want to have their own protection order when they're named as the petitioner? Yes. Maybe they really do fear their father or their mother. Yeah. And the thought was, well, if I get it as the petitioner, yes, instead of the minor name, yes, it might have more uh, oomph to it. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, that would mean that the court would have to hear from a new party. Yes. Might have a new superior court case number. Right. That would uh, involve a new public record against myself. Yes. I mean, if Zachary had really wanted to screw me over, the more public court case numbers you have, the worse it looks for the father that's abusive. Now, when you think of my income, yes, mm -hmm. let's say that I was applying for work and uh, my employer found out about a protection order because my wife alleged domestic violence and child abuse. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Paul, what happened? I'm like, well, we got in a fight on Guam. She called the cops on me. I went to jail for 10 days. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I did seven hours of parenting classes. My record's been expunged. I could show them the expungement. Yes. I'd say, actually, I have no criminal record. I have uh, I have no arrest record. Yes, my wife kidnapped them, but the court doesn't listen to me, pooch. But Zachary, yes, decides to motion the court on his own. That's a new court case number. Oh, that means there's a whole nother court hearing. Yes, and it makes me look really, really bad as a father. Yes, completely screwing up my right to be employed. Now, a lot of employers, they consider this public court record, yes, as kind of an indicator about uh, whether or not they should allow for the violent individual to be employed in a corporation, yes. Now, you said, well, we don't have to protect his rights. Mm -hmm. I said that if you're really wanting to screw somebody up, the more public court records they have, yes, where it shows that they're a violent individual, violent <laughs> The more an employer would say, well, we just don't want to employ you, Mr. Budnick, because we can see that each of your sons has gotten a protection order against you. <clears throat> now, for every parent out there <clears throat> that asks themselves, yes, why don't we bring the little one with us when they're 13 years old? Mm -hmm. And then the judge can ask them right now, mm -hmm, because they might want to just destroy the parent that abuses them. <clears throat> Now, since I never committed any domestic violence or child abuse, yeah, I really don't think that my sons wanted this issued. Yes. Now, protection for the minors. We talked about the state having exclusive continuing jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. The state of Washington does not have continuing exclusive jurisdiction over the minors named. Yes. Because the minor named at 13, yes, was not asked, does he want his own public court record? <laughs> was not asked, do you want your own conditions of protection? Was not asked, well, I don't actually go to that church anymore. Yes. In fact, I'm not going to the Boys and Girls Club at the age of 13. <laughs> now, let's say you really, really did understand why you would want. Well, for each one of them as they turn 13, yes. They might want one for Zachary, one for Bishop, ouch, one for Deacon. Yes. And then all of a sudden I have all these public court records of all these protection orders that have been issued because I'm such an abusive father. Ah! Now, when does the state yes, have exclusive continuing jurisdiction over the minors named when they are 13 to 15 years old? <laughs> Well, I would say that it is their home state because they lived here since uh, July 3rd of 2011. Yeah. Now, it was only four years. But. Oh, let's see. Court will review upon motion of respondent. Yes. 
Well, if they don't have that condition in there, Brent, because you had to serve me before they could issue it, yes, I would be named as a respondent in another Superior Court case. Mm -hmm. Then I would be able to explain to the court. <coughs> now, no contact until there's a mental health evaluation and respondent treatment if recommended. <laughs> Do you think that the petitioner known as Zachary Budnick at the age of 13, yes, is going to require a mental health evaluation? No. <laughs> or could he say, yes, my father is abusive and he's a credible threat? <laughs>